Talk about getting some head. <laughs> hey now. Come on. Would you like to have these? Talk about getting some head. I guess I should say a little bit what's going on right now. We just got our uh, parts brought out to us to go back with the Evo. It's getting exciting. So I am. It's it's it's, it's going to be cool. Performance heads. Right, but look at the the most important part here is look at that. Look at that sexiness right I there. I know. If you have paid attention or watched the previous videos of Maxwell House when we're tearing down, and if you haven't, you can go back and look and see the heads and exactly all the wear and tear that they took and the discussion that we had on what we should do or not do with the heads. Right. So we decided to get these, and this is as built as I can get from s, &S. is that correct? What is that, does that make sense? What we did is the combination of motor of what we have, what we put together. So the answer is yes and no. Can they do more? The answer is yes. Can they do different? The answer is yes. There's a whole lot more stuff could, that could happen. But what I'm trying to do is so we can look at what's going on here. Go ahead and let's do the jugs. I love a good set of jugs and I just love getting head right there. This is the first time we've opened it, so I haven't measured anything to verify anything, so. Nah, that's what I'm talking about. s, &S pistons, Correct. s, s heads, s, s jugs. Right, basically from the base gaskets up is going to be s, s which is what we planned and what we wanted. See the sexiness. Man, it's art. Mm -hmm. This is all art. It's just sexy. That's just what it is. Because then this would be more like that. It's hard to see in this angle, and I apologize, guys, for that, but uh -oh. that is what it is. And then, of course, obviously, the rings go around the piston. You'll have clearance in here. You'll have... And like I said, I haven't measured anything yet. We might have to oversize this, the cylinders to make the pistons fit. I don't know. I haven't measured them yet. So and I don't know what This is all we're normal with. things that you do. This is all normal. Way. This is no big deal. The most two important things is right here. All your power is made here. And I don't know if he showed you the airflow and then the airflow. So that's what's super important there. Pretty much we've touched everything on Maxwell House except the bottom case we didn't. Right. Some major components that we've been talking about when we were tearing it down and notice right. it. And wow, there's a lot of shit here. That and there's, there's more, there's a lot more to go. I mean, it gets down to like the push rods. If you guys watched the video, you seen how bad they were and how long it took me to get out. So these are Andrew's push right. rods. I hear that a lot. They mm -hmm. make a lot of things. Don't they? Yeah, they make cams too. Which, let's talk about cams real quick, Larry, since we've got it here. And uh, the cam really wasn't anything to do with my picking or really Larry's picking. It really had to do with you, Steph, because she likes the lope. Correct. So we pretty much went with the biggest cam that we could uh, right. go with and me not overexert the heads. Correct. Whenever I get to that point. 
because I do. So this is all to do with Stephanie. Yes. And it is, what, who makes this? It's called the comp cam. Dang. Feel that bad boy. That's it. Holy shit. Yeah. Got some meat in there. Thirty-two tooth, which mine was furt. <laughs> Man, that's a nice piece of machine. That's nice. That's fucking awesome. Now we've got a regulator, a stator, a comp sprocket, lifters. What do we have from fuel? It's our pressure gauge. Oh. Our oil pressure gauge. Remember the one that you had that wasn't really working? Got a little fueling on there. That's nice. Yeah, I'm unfucked. Hey now. Oh yeah. Oh, what <laughs> Just money, right? Mm -hmm. The cam. We had a lot of discussion, but whoop. See, every time we start talking, oh yeah, man. So, have you used this brand often? Do we use it often? No, because this is a lot of the older stuff. So it's the same one we have. But new. But newer. And that's what we needed because that plate fell off. What else is melted inside? I agree. So let's talk about this cam real quick because people ask me all the time what we went with and what is it. So it's a comp cam. The part number is EVL5015. Valve adjustments, of course, timing, duration. People get into all that stuff. I don't, I know it's how long it stays open yes. and shuts how fast it shuts, how fast it climbs, the lope, like what we talked about, the lope of it, all of that craziness. I mean, you guys have seen a cam, but um, for us that are seeing this in our videos previously talking Lift, about it. Lift, duration. So as it spins is how long and how quick the valves shut. Yep. The, the higher the peak, the faster it slams. So this is gonna give that world home. Right on, yep. Right on, it's exactly right on, what Steph right wanted, right so on. that's what we got. Really talking about it, it's going to sound good. Is it well, going to run good? Probably more on top end, if we're it, guessing. Well, it just all depends. I, we didn't look at the specs part of it because we looked at the spec that she wanted. Everything else we're going to have to work around. That is just what it is. Okay, so if it doesn't run quite like we want it, it's because of Steph. Right. You said it, I didn't, I just agreed with you. I'm not scared. Not my fault. Bam, there's that. Okay, and then we're talking about right here, my um, compensator. So if you guys were watching previous videos, pull this off and, you know, Larry's like shake it. And it was like, it was screwed. So here's a new compensator. Yep. And then Larry keeps digging through some parts a while ago. You've seen the new um, oil regulator and or the, the here's gauge. Here's your oil pump. Here's my oil pump. That was another thing that was totally fucked. Wow, ooh, it's man, good. holy shit. Once again, I do wanna say S and S here. Of course, we went through drag specialties. Thank you guys so much for being good to us, as well as the S and S crew. I've met a lot of you guys, and I have so much fun with you guys at the rallies hanging out. But I, I just wanna brag on this piece of art right here. Man, that is something to be seen. And, uh, if you've ever like looked into the inner workings of these, it kind of blew my mind until you kind of broke it down. Makes sense. But look at that right there, man. Holy shit. Isn't that pretty? That's what I'm talking about. And that was a big problem with Maxwell House was the pump, lack of flow. Yeah, we had all the flow nowhere. Gosh, man, how pretty is that? Yeah. Man, super excited. And a bunch of keepers and that little deal that you put the half moon key and bolts and... So another good piece by s, s Yes. that we've got there. And then of course we have the stator, the comp pieces, you know, that we talked about, the regulator that we talked about because it, for some reason it wasn't charging. We know why it wasn't charging because there's pieces missing and it was burnt. I mean, that is what it is. It so happens. Electrical was fixing to just go down. It was a fixing to burn up. Yeah. And we've, I've been noticing that more and more and I can smell it now. 
Yeah, these are pretty cool. Had somebody get me these. I don't know if you guys can see what little lightning bolt there. Somebody out there, you know who you are. Kind of things show up every once in a while here at Pig Trail. You know, we're in the Ozarks, born and raised here, and we're at Pig Trail Holly Davidson. I want to say thanks to the Johnsons for letting us come in here and hang out with Larry and the whole crew. But we have people that know us here, and they love us to death, and they'll come in and, well, they check on us, and they drop things off, and it's been a pretty cool uh, journey just to see how people are tuning in and, and how much this really means to them as we're going along. So we've got all the makings of a cool ass cake. In the upcoming video, you're gonna see me and Larry start putting back the heart of Maxwell House, and that is our Evo here, with a lot of great parts and uh, a lot of time that we have invested already in just seeing what the hell I had messed up on the bike. What do I expect out of this bike? Well, I really don't know. You know, it's like Larry said a while ago, I had a lot of people ask me, What's it gonna feel like? What's it gonna run right? We don't know what the numbers are gonna be we, until we put it together because this is just a one-off, mm -hmm. like it is. Yeah. We've and got how a, we match parts up, it was just- got a beautiful manufacturer. We've got beautiful parts. Yeah. Got a beautiful bike. We're and fixed. an ugly rider, but that's okay. Yeah, we, yeah. We, it's well, got I mean, all that I, stuff, all that stuff. At top of the day, it's about that hairy guy <laughs> yeah, or Jack. woman, I guess. She might be a hairy, hairy girl. Well, I don't know. It all, looks, on top it all looks good in the dark, so whatever. Man, what a- Sexy, it's just plain Fucking and simple sexy. Man. Cool lift of parts. It's a little overwhelming for me, you know. Um, it's amazing what it takes to just make you go down the road. Mm -hmm. And how simple it can be and how complicated if you want it to be. All in the same motion. Okay, Larry. I guess uh, you guys stay tuned and see me learn even more and see if I can retain anything from tearing it down, which I highly, highly doubt it. In this video, you're just gonna see just that too.